Hey guys, it's Helen Vandenberg here of GetClientsFast.net and I'm just here with um, Meg Mog the Wonder Dog, who's uh, the three-legged wonder dog, who um, is, we're just having a little break from the office and heading out for her very short walk and she's doing great now guys so thanks for all your kind thoughts so let's uh, today i wanted to talk about um pricing uh for coaching and service-based uh, organizations and um certainly when i was starting to implement premium pricing uh, if i looked at a lot of the literature um it would say things like you know you're so valuable look at all your life ex look at all your experience you have value of course you should go out there and charge 20 grand, 30 grand for a program or package. Now, the thing is with this, if you start off um, linking your program and your price into your self-worth, um, I don't know about you, but I have days when I am really on top of the world and focused and totally in the zone. But I also have days when maybe something caught me off guard or you might have like we've had a, you know, a lot of, um, time with Megmog trying to perhaps not getting enough sleep and you know my feelings of self-worth and perhaps you have a bit of a knock emotionally can be can hit the floor like all of us our emotional pattern is, is very much like this very few of us have a flat line emotional response unless we have um, usually some kind of uh, a medical condition for most of us we have a huge variety of emotions connected to our self-worth so whilst I think you should acknowledge the experience you bring and the value of everything you've done in the past, your boat, your qualifications, your life experience. Hey Sarah, again, I've got a different one here. And Lisa, great to see you. So I'm just talking about pricing and self-worth because certainly one of the things um, I was taught was like, yes, you are worth it, you can do this. Go on, charge 25K, charge 30K. And on a really great day, especially like if you're in a conference or you're one of those big hyper events, you can feel like that. But with your pricing, you've got to have something that you just can sustain. So I like to look at, yes, um, acknowledge all the value you bring to your clients. But I'm more interested in what is the program or the product or service you're offering worth to them? This is far more important because our own sense of self-worth can be, it can absolutely change from day to day. It can be so dependent on different things happening. But actually, if you've got a solid program or offering, let's say that you help, um, uh, I don't know, one of my clients helps uh, students, uh, college students get into top MBA schools, okay, uh, in the US. And, and this is not an easy thing to do, especially if you are um, not already in the sort of filter stream for like, those particular colleges. And so she works with the parents. So her clients are the parents, not the kids, although they're involved. Um, well, what is it worth for them to have their child go to a top US university? And by the way, she doesn't live in the, uh, in the US. She lives offshore. She lives in a very small European island. So this is for when people are absolutely desperate to help their children have a future. What is it worth, not only to the parents, but to the child, child, adult child, to do that? I mean, it is thousands and thousands. If you think about what having a top MBA school does to your CV, the earning potential over a lifetime, the, um, the support and the, the, the minimizing of stress and worry um, for the parents that their child is being on a career track that's gonna really work for them. So you want to be thinking about in your service, what is the what is it worth to that person? Not just financially. So let's say that you help people lose weight. Well, I'd want you to be a lot more specific than that. I'd want you to say, right, which type of people, what amount of weight, uh, what's their situation? So maybe it is uh, women, the post baby tummy, um, you know, lose that final 10 pounds that they just cannot shift. And it's about helping them get back to themselves. So if that was your market, what is it worth to that woman to have your support to get that result? So for me, there is um, there is the peace of mind, there is the increasing confidence. So let's think, if she increases her confidence, what happens then? Well, this person is likely to make better decisions for herself, her career, for her family. Is That's likely to impact on her emotionally. It's likely to impact on her relationships. You and I know what happens is when you uh, improve the way you feel and the way you look, that that has a massive impact on your levels of happiness and your confidence to go and do other things. So I would focus on what is the long-term lifetime benefit 
of you helping that person fix their problem. And it doesn't matter whether it's anxiety, whether it's helping them overcome a fear or phobia, whether it's helping them grow their business, helping them transition from one career to another, leave their job, all of those things have immense value, not just financially, but also spiritually, um, in terms of their relationships, in terms of their confidence, and then when their confidence improves, what would happen then? These are the things you want to be thinking about. And then in terms of setting your pricing, if you are, it doesn't matter whether you're new or whether you've been in a coaching or consulting business for a while, if you're looking, if you're not yet making enough money or as much money as you'd like and not having quite the reach you'd like uh, to financially you know, support in your own life and not the reach with the clients you want, then I would say look at one premium offer to start with. So you may still find that you have lower end offers that you want to continue whilst you're in the transition phase. But start with one premium offer, and that might be something like a VIP day plus some intensive work before or after. It could be a retreat, it could be a private um, six month intensive, it could be a mastermind. But start with one, and you want to. Look, I'm just going to show you Meg because this is the three legged dog Meg who's just about to leap. Oh, yeah, she's, she's got up and she's going to leap over there. Anyway, sorry, back to, the, back to pricing. Um, so you, you really want to be thinking about what is, what is it worth to them and what is the super level of service you could give that would be worth your $1,000, $3,000, $5,000 dollar price point. And it's not about just sticking a naught on it and deciding, oh, I'm just going to change my one-on-one -on -one coaching to that. It's about what is the result you could give that would be genuinely worth that and more. Okay, so when we work with clients, we're looking to get them to have a 10 times return on their income over their lifetime of working with us. Um, and so for me, you know, if I, if I have a VIP client that pays me, you know, 10K, but we're going to help her grow a, a six figure business, well, that, that's frankly a bargain. And um, you've got to have certain, it's not all about the money, it's also about just what is the value to that person's shift in their life. Okay, so if you want, if you have, need some help with this, then hop on over to my group. There should be links to my groups from my Get Clients Fast page, and also you can go over there to uh, Facebook forward slash groups. And I think it is client attraction for coaches for experts. So, guys, I will see you soon. Let me know how you, what your biggest block is in premium pricing, and I'll help you work through that. Have an awesome day. Bye for now. Bye.